All right, hello folks and uh, welcome. Uh, Mark here on the Larshell Farm. Uh, I just wanna give everybody fair warning that I will be dispatching quail. So if that's something you're not comfortable watching, please turn it off uh, and skip it completely. Uh, but for those who you, of you that may like to learn a different method of dispatching your quail, uh, a bloodless method, um, I hope this helps you. Uh, it's helped me on my quail journey here. I had a falconer who purchases his, uh, his feeders from me show it. And something I learned, so I figure I'm gonna share it with you as well. Uh, I hope, I don't know how I should articulate that. I hope that uh, this is easier for someone to dispatch their quail, because I know a lot of people have a hard time with it. I take no pleasure in doing this at all, but it is something and uh, it's a reality that when people do do this and raise quail, you will likely have a sick or injured bird uh, that needs to be dispatched. Same thing with your extra meals. So you need to have a plan in place and how you're going to go about doing that. Uh, I'm gonna grab a mail here. Again, please shut the video if you don't wanna see any of this. I'm gonna grab a mail and I'll show you how it's done. So on these birds in the belly area, right about where the color changes here, you're gonna feel there's a little bump there. If you go lower, you feel like a sharp point. You don't wanna go there, you wanna go higher, right about where that bump is. And then you're gonna have the spine in the back. What you're gonna be doing is taking this and just compressing your fingers together. Uh, I, I hold the bird with two hands, I hold the wings down. I place my finger on the back in the spine area. I find that bump with my thumb and I just compress together. And this bird is dispatched, lost consciousness and that's it. You're not breaking any bones. Uh, I just hold it here for a little bit, but I can feel the bird is doing the twitching in my hands. And you can see that bird is not conscious at all. Very fast, very effective. Um, and it's my understanding that the feeders, they like to have all the muscles intact so that um, the birds of prey can actually work harder while tearing away at the meat. Apparently it's some type of exercise. I'm not familiar, that's just how it was explained to me. So I'm here sharing my knowledge with you. Um, I hope this helps you. Again, I don't take pleasure in dispatching any animals really, but it's just a fact of uh, farming and uh, keeping these beautiful birds and hopefully this helps somebody. Hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, have yourself a good day and have a good quail journey. Thank you.